Here's another question from one of our viewers. They wanted to know how you could figure out the amount of roof trusses to purchase for the project. Now, if you are having a roof truss manufacturing company design your roof, they will provide you with the exact number of roof trusses along with plans on how they're going to be assembled, where the roof trusses are going to be located most of the time. However, if you're not doing that, then let's go ahead and get started by measuring the length of the building, not the width of the building, the length of the building. The roof trusses are going to go this way. This will be the wall that the roof trusses are actually sitting on, not these walls over here. And then we're going to need to figure out the spacing. In this example here, we're going to be using 24 inch on center or two foot on center spacing. And that means that from the center of the truss to the center of the other truss, or from the right side of the truss to the right side of the truss or left side to left side, will be 24 inches on center. If that measurement is going to be different, then you will need to adjust for that in your calculation. Now, in this example here, we don't have an even number. If we had an even number that would have been in two foot increments, you could simply divide that number by two and then add one truss to it. However, that's not what we're dealing with here. We have a 33 foot seven inch measurement suggesting that one of the truss bays, the distance in between two of the trusses, will be a little shorter than the other ones. So to do the calculation for this truss right here, we're just simply going to divide two into 33 and then take the measurement that is going to be less than two foot and then add a roof truss for that and another roof truss for the end. And you can feel free to count these roof trusses and see if it matches up with the amount of trusses I figured out in the calculation. Another thing to consider will be if you have any additional trusses if you're going to add a truss for some reason or double up one of the trusses. And let's not forget that if you are going to add a truss or shorten the distance in between one of the roof trusses, you could always start your layout from that point and go 24 inches on center again, suggesting that you might have a situation where you have a short span between two trusses located somewhere else. Like if I had the same distance here, right here that I'm not going to need an additional truss. And another situation might be if you have to nail two trusses together to create a double truss or even a triple truss. And if that's a little too confusing, you could always draw a scaled floor plan. For example, here we have 12 feet. We're going to use inches as our scale. So we're going to draw a 12 inch line and then locate each one of the roof trusses our roof trusses here are going to be 16 inches on center. So we would just need to scale that measurement down. One foot, four inches actually converts to one and one third of an inch or 1.33 as a decimal. And you could just simply measure that distance, lay out each one of the lines that you need here and then count the roof trusses. Another thing you need to be aware of on a gable roof is that you will usually need a gable end truss at each end. And on a rectangular shaped building like this, that would be two trusses, one here, one gable truss here. And then these trusses that are going to be located in the middle will be regular roof trusses. So another thing you can do if that's going to work better for you. And of course, here we just have another example of a two foot on center layout. Again, if you have an even number here or something that divides into the on center layout like we have here, we can just simply divide two into 12, which is going to give us six and then add one roof truss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven roof trusses. Gable at this end, gable at this end and then five roof trusses that will be designed different than the gable trusses. And of course, another situation here where you're going to have a smaller bay where you're going to need one more truss. If you can design the building to where you have the same increments, two foot, I can make this a 14 or a 16 foot long building, then I won't need any smaller spans like this one here or this one here where we have it a little bit longer than 14 foot. 
And if the on center measurement changes, you're going to just simply divide this number into this number. And to do this, you're either going to need to convert this number to feet or this number to inches. Or go back and draw everything out as a scaled model. And hopefully that makes sense. If there's something that doesn't, let us know in the comment area. Or if you have a better method for doing this, let us know in the comment area.